morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're watching from so glad to have you here thank you so much for clicking so this muslim lady actually asked this pastor if christians believe that jesus never had a father and then we'll stop right there forget everything about muhammad do christians believe that jesus was born without a father yeah but not because some dude 500 years so after then, the fact wrote it that's so, for sure but then how do how do what do they take as their belief for jesus being born without a because father? because eyewitnesses who knew jesus mother a woman named mary talked with her they talked with joseph and they found out that indeed mary was a virgin when jesus was born so then we take it's not something they made up 500 years okay. later. Okay, so then it's something we, that they found from eyewitness talking. So do we take that? We take Jesus being born without a father as a miracle. That's proof yes. he's a prophet. That's proof he's a prophet, correct? No. Why? Just why? because a miracle happens doesn't mean the dude's a prophet. Why? He could be a false prophet. So then why, why miracles you, happen to why false doesn't, Why doesn't your prophets. mom have a son without a father? What miracles happen to false prophets? We'll go over that right now. What miracles happen, happen to false prophets? Man, if you get in the occult, you can go to seances, and demonic powers are shown, supernatural powers are shown. You can go, you can go a lot of places on this planet. But how are they shown? Magic. How are they shown? How are they shown? Yeah, how are they shown? Like, right, how, I'll tell you factually, how. factually. You how bet. can you show it in substance? You bet. No, no, answer. I went to a Not pet school. No, 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 answer. I am answering you. Come on. I went Where to a prep school factually, here in Connecticut, and I had a philosophy professor who went to a seance. And at the seance, the medium told him things about his past that it took him two weeks to remember had even occurred. This philosophy professor came And psychologists have done that too with sexual abuse cases where they convince their clients of a history that never happened. So how do you know that's not the case? How can you prove that it's true? Well, you gotta use your brain to figure out what okay, so then, irrational then that means or irrational. That, that's on the premise that you're using your brain. Uh, yeah, that is on a premise, okay. that's right. Okay. Why are you wasting your time listening to a guy who's just gibbering? You're in our way. You're missing <laughs> 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 I'm I'll sorry, I didn't question. realize that your no. ankle had a chain tied I'll, to the brick underneath I'll answer there. that question. I was under the impression that you chose to be here freely. He did uh, choose to be here. Let me here. relieve you if oh, you're being forced please. to be here. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm enjoying right. your company. <laughs> <laughs> my problem here, my problem here is you're here. <laughs> Talking loudly, first of all, you're not having a small conversation with the group that brought you here in a small room, which most groups have. You're obnoxiously on the center of campus, yeah. misguiding people about your belief in Maloney. you. Baloney. And I'm exercising my right of free speech. And if I tried to stand up in Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan and do what I'm doing now, I'd be in prison before I knew and what my name was. it's a great thing I'm an American citizen and born okay? on this soil. Good. Great thing, isn't it? All right. Now, do you, what do you take that as right there? As Blindly naming Iran and Iraq and Afghanistan. Blindly, I'm not blindly at all. Visa, that's yeah, ignorant. That's an ignorant move on your part. Because I have no correlation with Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan. I didn't say you did. Then why bring it up? I'll tell you Just why. Random countries. Because you, you two were challenging, but no. So every I'm time I try to answer you, you cut me off. I'm not. Yes, you are. You don't really want to reason and think. Because you you're just not want to emote. To reason. I'm not emotional. Oh, no? I'm not emotional. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> you and you were challenging free speech. He said I was in his way. No, I wasn't challenging. I was I was using my own free speech to question yours. Oh, you can do that, that all day long. I respect speech. that. So then, can, okay. That's not, and my okay. point is, Free speech I was is a right that we though. have that in the United States of America. Correct. And that in the I United celebrate. States, you look crazy right now. Pardon? Hold on you look second. crazy in the United States. And if you went to Iran or Iraq, you look crazy there as well. <laughs> you so hold on. Well, then your why are you wasting here? your time What's talking your to a crazy because man? Because you are just, it's just entertaining. entertaining. What's, entertaining? Your entertaining? What's your oh, purpose smoke. here? Why because are you they have better entertainment on this campus than to talk to a crazy man. to stores? You, the you guys are hurting people. Why are you here? What did you come I am here to introduce people to the closest friend I have, Jesus Christ. You are condemning, what, two-thirds of the rest of the world to hell. <coughs> and there are some good people in the two-thirds of the rest, some good Buddhists, some good Jews, some good some people that, that believe in Islam that are very good people that are deserving of whatever reward they should get. And the problem with a lot of Every religion has a way of excluding people that, that do not believe in exactly what they believe. It's a different version of the same thing. Okay. Except everyone has their own little 
little little password to get in. And once you say that only because the only way to heaven is through Jesus, you have now excluded and therefore dehumanized everybody else that does not accept Jesus. And you know what? That's wrong. Period. Okay. According to you, who goes to heaven? According to the Bible, the only way to heaven is through me, is through Jesus Christ. That's from the Bible. Okay, so you have a problem with that. You've articulated that very clearly. Yes, I do. So, according to you, who goes to heaven? Okay, that's... We're not debating what, whether I even think heaven exists or not. That's not the point. Do you think I, heaven I, exists? I asked you a question to start this off, so don't flip it back on me. Oh, I'll answer, answer any question answer you ask. Answer my question. I'll answer any Sure. All right. I'll answer any question. Right. Truth, all truth, smacks of exclusivity. The statement, two plus two equals four, <laughs> is incredibly exclusive. If I don't believe in Jesus, if I don't believe in Jesus, am I going to heaven? Are you allowing me to answer your question or not? Yes or no. Yes, yes or no. Yes. Not yes. too much. I'm sorry, yes I don't give no. yes no answers. All right. You know what? If you can reduce, because you're full of it. <laughs> oh, oh, and that's not a, judgmental. Have, have, and that's being kind. That's being kind and not judgmental. What you just did to me. What? What, what I'm telling you, you is that is that you are judging everybody else that does not agree with you. And that you have wrong. not even listened to my answer. Because you don't know what I'm doing. You, you are you preaching. Answer. You are not preaching anything. something new here, sir. You're, You're preaching something that's been preached and has been the reason why people have been murdered in catastrophic numbers from the history of mankind. You are this one little step away from saying that because you don't agree with me and because you're not going to heaven, you are, your life is, is somehow worth less because you've made a choice that excludes you from heaven anyway. And have that's you listened how, to my answer? That's how people justify. You said you answered bombing. a question. You asked a question. You wanted me to answer it. Have you have you listened to my answer? Your your answer is yes or no, and now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna skirt around the issue and not answer it. And you know what? I have to go somewhere. I don't have time to li just listen to your answer right now. I'd like to know what your answer is. Yes or no? The version of what you're doing right now is the same thing you see in every other religion. And that's why right now people will strap bombs to their back, walk into a market, and kill everybody. Why? Because they're infidels. They're not going to heaven anyway, right? So what's the use? That you might as well kill them now, right? That's the same thing that happens in the Middle East right now. It's the same mentality that you're preaching right now to everybody else right here. It's one little step away. That's all. That's all it is. All right, let me kind of tell you why I disagree with that. Yes. I can promise you that if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, in light of the fact that as he was bleeding and dying on a cross, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yes. If you claim to put your faith in that Jesus Christ, there is absolutely no way that you can persecute, kill any human being in the name of your religion. Because if you genuinely follow Christ, you are genuinely following the one who in his dying moment, as he's being excruciatingly executed by crucifixion, he prays, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Wait, I don't understand. This man actually didn't give the answer I was expecting. The first question, Muslim lady asked this question that, why is that Jesus never had a father? She just wants to ask why people are really following Jesus because if all other prophets had parents, they have fathers, so why is it that Jesus only is quite different? He couldn't say much about that and the one other guy was asking questions that the man was not really giving the answer they wanted and he was like, okay, if I'm talking gibberish, then why are you listening to somebody that is not talking something? And I was expecting to just, you know, say, yes, what he said was right. This is the reason why Jesus did not have a father. And now, prove to the Muslim girl why Jesus is the way and why you think Jesus could be God or Jesus is God. Because based on her research, she believed that most of these other prophets that came before Jesus had fathers. They have mothers. Abraham, Job, David, they all had father and mothers. So she wanted to know what made them different from jesus why is that jesus is kind of different from other prophets that came elijah elisha they did the work of god so what made them different from jesus so that was what he was asking she was asking but the man couldn't even give you know tangible reason to why jesus is d different so what may i can say in that aspect is that i know it's kind of difficult to actually you know Especially on that because most of these students eh, they can ask some questions that you yourself you question yourself that <laughs> am I really 
into this religion. Wait, though, I know even think about that. You know, there's some question that students ask that you do wonder that is this question actually necessary? We all know you've read about it, so why are you not coming to ask me again? No, that kind of thing. I think that might be running through the man's mind that what is this one say? All we know is that Jesus is a Messiah, you know, God single addedly brought him on this earth differently from other prophets. That is the reason why God used Jesus differently from other prophets. That's just why Jesus did a lot of things compared to that prophet, feeding the 5,000 people, the miracles he did through God. Yes, other prophets who did all those things, but at least the greatest thing he was crucified, you know, for him to be nailed on the cross. All other prophets were not nailed on the cross when they were about to die. You get it. So that, that, that's how I feel, guys. So the second part, the guy asked this question that since you said the only way to heaven is through Jesus, are you not trying to tell us that other religions will not make it to heaven? Other religions that believe in their own book, you know, Islam, Buddhism, in which they don't really talk about Jesus, are you not saying that they will not go to heaven? That why will you say that the only way to heaven is through Jesus? Are you not trying to demonize the other religion? So this man could not actually answer the question. He was trying to deviate, in which I didn't really like the way he responded to them, actually, and inappropriately. Then they, they, even the guy that asked the question almost, you know, walked out because he was angry that I asked you this question and you could not answer. So what are you doing here? Because this man goes on campus to preach the gospel of Jesus, letting them know why they should accept Jesus. And group of students will gather to listen to him. After listening to him, they'll ask him questions to test his faith in his religion. I'm sure one of the things he mostly says, you know, if you want to go to heaven, Jesus is the way for you to go to heaven. If you don't accept Jesus into your life, you can't make it to heaven. So it's not saying that other religions that don't believe in Jesus or there is nothing like Jesus in their in their own book, are you not trying to tell them that they are not going to make it to heaven? So what can you say about that? The man could not talk. Later he was not talking about, you know, you not committing sin, you not killing people because the guy made mention of something like killing and all the rest. So he now make his point on that aspect that you know, if you love Jesus, if you respect Jesus, if you you want Jesus in your life, you should not do something that Jesus will not like by killing, by this. But he didn't give me the answer I wanted. So, indirectly, he can't prove it. He can't give his point that. Because even me, me too, I, I found it somehow. Because you can actually tell people, oh, give your life to Christ, okay, things. But you saying that if they don't give their life to Christ, they will not go to heaven. So, other religion, what happens to them? those people that in other religion that they don't know of jesus what happens is a very tough question a very very tough question in which you yourself will be like wow it's true but at least you should have said something that okay this is what i meant by giving your life to christ that if you you know later accept jesus by you accepting jesus and that's that is to say you are accepting christianity you should have made mention of that that you are accepting jesus christ you are setting a religion I'm preaching to you about. That's the only way you can go to heaven after accepting Christianity. So indirectly, he's not trying now. You are not in other religion like Hindu, Buddhism, or atheist. Uh -huh. As I only mean, may mention of the fact that okay, well, accepting Jesus for you to accept Jesus Christ, you have to be a Christian. After be a Christian, accept Jesus Christ because Jesus is the way to heaven. That sound quite well it's better that you just generalizing it that if this that means you are condemning other religion that's how the guy saw it but the man couldn't really give the answer to the question but let me know your point of view concerning this issue thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one